Hello Viking fans and athletes. I want to welcome you to our 2020-21 Winter Sports Awards. Once again, just like we did in the fall, we are obviously doing these virtual. But again, it doesn't change the fact of what we're here for. That's to honor you, the student athletes, for all your hard work, your dedication. And we want to say thank you for all that you've done for Viking Athletics. Hey guys, uh, Coach Bradley here for the Tokyo Valley High School swim team. Um, first off, I just want to start by saying thank you um, to Melanie Loman for driving our bus and taking us everywhere, even in that sketchy weather. Um, also, thank you to the Smith family for running our, um, our home meets. Super helpful. We couldn't have done it without you guys. Um, and then also our parent volunteers um, that came in in time, even some of our teachers that came in in time. Thank you so much. Um, First off, I just want to say, um, parents of the, you know, swimmers, you should be super proud of your kids. Um, we saw immense improvement, um, great character, all your kids, great group of kids. Um, I joke around a little bit and I call them my pride and joys, but they really truly are. They're great kids, great group of kids. Um, so I guess first off, we'll start going through the individual awards. Um, we have the Booster Club Award, um, first off. Um, and basically the description for this was, you know, hardworking kids um, that do everything that we tell them to, have great attitudes, um, and we decided to give that to Grayson Shriver and Caitlin Lohman. Um, Grayson, I was so impressed by the way that you led our team as a senior, um, how you always came with a smile on your face, um, always pleasant um, to work with. Um, and we just really appreciate you. We're really going to miss you uh, next year. Um, Caitlin Lohman, you had a great work ethic this year. I know I kind of threw you in the 500, but you trusted, trusted me in it. Miss Chenoweth, if you're, you're in the building, please come to the front office. Miss Chenoweth, if you're in the building, please come to the front office. Um, but Caitlin, good work this year. Again, you told you did everything that I would tell you. Um, any critiquing that I would give you, you would run with it. Um, and I was really impressed with how well you worked this year. Um, next award, mental attitude. We decided to give that to Carson Parker and Alejandra Jimenez. Carson, you um, actually both Carson and Alejandra, they came to a lot of the preconditioning. Um, swims that we had before the season. Um, and they worked really hard. Um, we went through technique, and they worked really hard on their technique. And I was really impressed with how involved they were in that. Um, Carson, anything that we gave you, you worked super hard. I was impressed with how hard you worked, um, and how even as a freshman, you tried to be a leader of the team, um, which is fantastic. Alejandra, again, this, you're the sweetest girl. We loved your personality. You brought a whole different kind of spunk to the team, um, and we really appreciate that. We need those, um, you know, positive attitudes on the team, especially when those workouts get hard. So appreciate you. Um, next award, Rookie of the Year. Um, we had a lot of new kids this year, and it, honestly, it was really hard to kind of pick out of all of them because all of them, all you rookies. You worked really hard and you really impressed us. Um, but we chose Eric Burke and Olivia Wilson. Eric, first of all, I want to congratulate you on being able to dive in sectionals as a big deal and at the same time stepping up and um, working in our lead um, relays. Okay, that's really impressive as a freshman and a first year swimmer. Um, so we appreciate you really stepping up for our team. Um, and again, you improved immensely. Just the technique, getting your turns down, that was a tricky one, but you got them down and you had some good swims this year. So congratulations on that. Um, Olivia Wilson. Um, Olivia, she got stuck <laughs> um, when we had several kids uh, contact trace. She was one of the only swimmers left. She always came with a positive attitude worked super hard. She was the one person that would always come to me, coach, what was my time? Coach, what did I place? Coach, what can I do better? Um, and for us, that's a huge thing, especially as a new swimmer, and it was super impressive to see that out of you. Um, so congratulations. Most improved, again, this one was a really hard one because all of you guys have improved. 
Um, and we were so impressed by the improvement you made throughout the year, especially with COVID and you know many of you getting contact traced and still being able to improve. Um, but for this year, we chose Bobby Burke and Caitlin Lohman. Um, Bobby, um, you just improved immensely over this year. Um, started out, you know, kind of needed to work on the technique with your swims all that stuff and by the end of sectionals you had it down and you were cutting seconds and seconds and seconds off those times so great job to you and again your work ethic towards you know that last half of the season i could really tell that you were really pushing yourself hard and trying to get that down and then again caitlin loman oh my goodness those few weeks about the 500 you just cut in time 10 15 seconds 10 15 seconds that is awesome um so with that, we're just super happy with how you improved. And again, just really um, took everything in stride with the 500. And the last one, MVP, um, we chose Brandon Hoffman and McKenna Smith. Brandon, um, I think at first we had a little bit of a slow start there, but again, you were one of the kids that came to the conditioning consistently. You immediately led our group um, when you were gone for those couple of weeks, oh my goodness, <laughs> the whole team was kind of lost without you. So um, we really appreciate your leadership. Um, and then just, you know, the way that you came into sectionals was rocking and rolling. It was so impressive and so exciting to see. Um, so again, we appreciate that leadership um, and we look forward to seeing what you'll do next year. McKenna. Um, again, you were one of the leaders in the pool. Whenever I asked you to do something, you did it without question. Um, you even took on the 100 fly, which you weren't necessarily used to, but every time you improved and you always worked on your skills in that um, and never once complained. Um, so we really appreciate you. We saw you grow as a leader. We saw you grow as a swimmer. Um, and I think as far as your character and everything, um, that really made you, you know, most valuable and being a leader for your team. So congratulations to you all. Again, you guys had a great season. I'm really excited to see what you'll do next year. Um, and I'm expecting a great year next year along with this one. So thanks guys. <laughs>